in this video we'll continue to solve more questions of simple and compound interest from the IDCAC past papers these questions are taken from paper 2 0580 need to know that simple interest is written as an I principal as a P rate of interest as R time in years when we are finding simple interest as T and when we are finding compound interest as N Amount is written as A. To find simple interest, we use interest is equal to PRT over 100. P being the principal, R the rate of interest, and T time in years. If you want to find R, T, or P, and interest is given to you, you have to learn to make R, T, or P the subject. For example, if they told us to find rate of interest so if i want to make r the subject i will do i multiply by 100 and divide it by principal and the time taken so that is the way i will have found my r for finding compound interest i have to use this formula a is equal to p bracket 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n. p is the principal, r the rate of interest, and n the number of years. This is when the amount is increasing, and this when the amount has de uh, decreased. This formula is not usually used for money-related things. For population and all, these kind of questions, you use this equation. The first question. Eric invests an amount in a bank that pays compound interest at a rate of 2.16% per year. At the end of five years, the value of his investment is $6,999.31. Calculate the amount Eric invests. So we have been given the rate of interest, which is 2.16%. The time is given to us 5 and the value of his investment. That is the amount he is going to receive at the end of his term is 6,999.31. They have confused us here by writing the word amount for principal. Whenever you are investing the money, the initial amount is always your principal. So we don't have our principle we need to find that we will use the formula amount is equal to principal 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n so 6999.31 is equal to p 1 plus 2.16 over 100 and the time is 5 years Put this in the calculator and you will get 1.11276. Always take as many numbers as possible. If you round it only to two decimal or three numbers, you may not get an accurate answer. So take as many digits as possible. Now this is a multiply. When I bring to the other side, it will become divide. So 6,000. 999.31 divided by 1.11276 will give us 6290. Final answer is 6290. Question number two Eva invests dollar one twenty at a rate of three percentage per year compound interest. Calculate the total amount Eva has after two years. Give your correct answer to two decimal places. It's a three mark question, very straightforward. We have been given the principal, which is 120. The rate of interest is three percentage, and the time is two years. Using our formula of compound interest, amount is equal to principal, 1 plus r over 100 to the power of n. Let's replace our principal with 120, r with 3, and n with 
2. When you put this in the calculator, you will get 127.308. They want us to round it to two decimal places, so the answer will be 127.31. And that's our final answer. Next question. Sarah has $3,000 to invest for two years. She invests the money in a bank which pays simple interest at the rate of 7.5% per year. Calculate how much interest she will have at the end of the two years. So here we need to find the simple interest. Our principal is 3000 time is two years and the rate is 7.5. We will use the simple interest formula, PRT over 100, and we will get interest is equal to 3000 multiplied by 7.5 multiplied by 2 over 100. This will give us 450, so our interest is 450. This is also a simple interest question. Hence, invest $750 for 8 years at a rate of 2% per year simple interest. Calculate the interest hence receives. So, we have been given the principal, the time which is 8 years, and the rate which is 2%. We need to find the interest. Interest is equal to PRT over 100. We'll replace the principal with 750, R with 2, and time with 8. When we put this in the calculator, we will get 120. So our interest is $120. Next question. George invests $5,000 for 14 years at a rate of 2% per year compound interest. Calculate the interest he receives and give your answer correct to the nearest dollar. It's a four mark question and the information that we have is principal is given to us 5000. Time 14 years, rate of interest 2%. And it is a compound interest question, so we'll write A is equal to B, 1 plus R over 100 to the power of N. Let's replace everything. 1 plus 2 over 100 to the power of N. This will give 6597.39. So our amount is 6597.39. But we want interest. If you have the amount and the principal and you are asked to find the interest, this is the formula that you are supposed to use. So amount is 6597.39 minus the principal which is 5000. That will give us our interest. That will be 1597.39. They have asked us to write the answer to the nearest dollar. So that will be 1,597. The interest that George gets is 1,597. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button so that whenever I upload a video, you will get a notification. Please like the video and share it with your friends. I'll be uploading a lot of videos related to IGCSE past paper questions.